good afternoon so we are doing the factors affecting temperature sabse pehle latitude uske baad altitude uske baad distance between the sea so diurnal diurnal ka matlab hai daily daily range of temperature is minimum in the coastal ya interiors in the coastal regions so isliye ncert ka ek question hai that is insulation based ek question hai ncert ka common doubt hai wo usme diya hai i don't exactly remember the chapter चार सिटीज दी है तिरुवनंतपुरम चंडीगढ़ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सिटीज विल हैव द मैक्सिमम अमाउंट ऑफ डे लाइट सो डे लाइट मैक्सिम विल बी देयर एज यू गो अवे फ्रॉम द इक्वेटर सो एक ऑप्शन है हैदराबाद एक ऑप्शन है तिरुवनंतपुरम द अदर ऑप्शन इज नागपुर एंड द लास्ट ऑप्शन इज चंडीगढ़ सो वॉट इज द आंसर चंडीगढ़ जितना आप इक्वेटर से दूर जाओगे ड्यूरिंग द समर्स द डे विल बी लॉन्गर डे लाइट इज मैक्सिमम अवे फ्रॉम द इक्वेटर सिमिलरली ऐसा क्वेश्चन आ सकता है रिगार्डिंग द टेम्परेचर रेंज सो टेम्परेचर रेंज इज ग्रेटेस्ट इन मानसून टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट या सवाना टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट या इक्वेटोरियल टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट या पोलार टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट सबसे ज्यादा इन चारों में फॉर एग्जाम्पल चलो और क्वेश्चन सिंप्लीफाई करता हूँ दैट इज द रेंज ऑफ टेम्परेचर डेली टेम्परेचर रेंज या एनुअल टेम्परेचर रेंज इज ग्रेटेस्ट इन इंडिया और रशिया Russia, because it is very very far away from the sea and it is a very big part. Russia में Siberia, Siberia में summer temperature 30 degree Celsius होना ही नहीं चाहिए at such high latitudes and winter temperature minus 60 degree Celsius. 90 degree Celsius का range है in the Siberian region. So summers are just like India and winters are just like Kargil. So summers are like you can say peninsular India. so as a result of this yaad rakhna the range of temperature ka applied question the last part here regarding the questions will be the difference between the nature of land and water so ye hai char why why there is a concept of photic zone and a photic zone photic zone where the water sunlight can penetrate up to a greater distance a photic zone where the sunlight cannot penetrate next concept aata hai usme regarding the mobility of water वाटर इज मोबाइल लैंड इज नॉट मोबाइल द थर्ड कंसेप्ट आता है रिगार्डिंग द स्पेसिफिक हीट वॉट इज द स्पेसिफिक हीट इज हीट द अमाउंट ऑफ हीट दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अ सब्सटेंस टू रेज इट्स टेम्परेचर बाई वन डिग्री इन सिंपल वर्ड्स हाउ मच अमाउंट ऑफ हीट यू विल हैव टू गिव सो स्पेसिफिक हीट उसको अगर ये भी कन्फ्यूजन लग रहा है तो सिंपल स्पेसिफिक हीट बटर को कितनी हीट देनी पड़ती है एस मेल्ट करने के लिए एज कम्पेयर टू आयरन को कितनी हीट देनी पड़ती है मेल्ट करने के लिए सो आयरन की हीट इज मोर स्पेसिफिक हीट इज मोर बटर वैसे ही मेल्ट हो जाएगा सिमिलरली द स्पेसिफिक हीट ऑफ वाटर इज मोर एज कम्पेयर टू लैंड लैंड बहुत जल्दी कूल होता है एंड वार्म होता है वाटर टेक्स टाइम टू गेट कूल्ड एंड वार्म सो आफ्टर दैट द नेक्स्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट आई गेस दिस आर द फोर पॉइंट सो द फिफ्थ पॉइंट सिक्स पॉइंट आर वेरी ईजी इसमें से क्वेश्चन नहीं आएंगे ये सिर्फ पता होना चाहिए डायरेक्ट इनडायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन नहीं आएंगे इसमें से दैट इज द फिफ्थ पॉइंट विच इज अफेक्टिंग द टेम्परेचर इज येस्टर्ड इज अप्लीकेशन एटमोस्फेरिक स्टेबिलिटी एंड इनस्टेबिलिटी सो आज सुबह वॉज देर स्टेबिलिटी इन द एटमोसफेयर और इनस्टेबिलिटी इनस्टेबिलिटी एंड नाउ देर इज अटमोस्फेरिक स्टेबिलिटी सो कैन आई से एटमोस्फेरिकली इनस्टेबल कंडीशन विल प्रमोट रेनफॉल एंड डिक्रीज द टेम्परेचर एंड एटमोस्फेरिक स्टेबल कंडीशन विल इंक्रीज द टेम्परेचर सो द टेम्परेचर इज हाइएस्ट इन द रीजन विच इज ऑलमोस्ट स्टेबल दैट इज डेजर्ट डेजर्ट में बारिश ही नहीं है सो वी हैव एन वेरी वेरी हाई टेम्परेचर इन द डेजर्ट रीजन getting it instability andaman and nicobar continuously instable because tropical evergreen forest hai roz barish hogi wahan pe as a result of this din mein to bahut zyada garmi hai par raat mein barish ke baad garmi kam ho jati hai so this is what is known as instability and stability is going to affect the temperature so you can take down 
atmospheric stability, atmospheric stability promotes, promotes aridity, aridity means dryness, promotes aridity and thus increases the temperature, thus increases the temperature, increases the temperature while cloudiness, while rainfall and cloudiness will decrease the temperature. ये एक बहुत जनरल रूल है, but एक चीज ये भी याद रखना कि if there are clouds, temperature will also increase because cloud is a collection of water vapor which will trap the long wave radiation. But लिखने के लिए एक जनरल रूल है, when we compare the two, stability versus instability. La one of the other thing is though we are not doing the ocean currents. उसका बेसिक इनफॉरमेशन आई एम गिविंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बायोम्स यस रेनफॉल से कंपेयर विंटर सीजन में भी फॉर एग्जांपल विंटर सीजन में स्टेबिलिटी एंड स्टेबिलिटी विंटर सीजन में अभी रेनफॉल हुआ तो ठंड एकदम बढ़ गई जब रेनफॉल नहीं था तो थोड़ी कम ठंड थी सेम थिंग बट यू कैन नॉट कंपेयर विंटर एंड समर एक रीजन में अगर बारिश हो रही है एक रीजन में बारिश नहीं हो रही है इन द सेम सीजन वो कर, वैसे कंपेयर करना ओशन करंट सो एनी आइडिया व्हाट आर ओशन करंट्स मूवमेंट ऑफ मूवमेंट ऑफ वाटर मूवमेंट ऑफ वाटर इज सुनामी वेव्स टाइड्स ओशन करंट्स व्हेन ओशन वाटर मूव सेम लाइक अ रिवर जैसे रिवर लंबी है एंड इट मूव्स इन अ स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्शन सो सिमिलरली इनसाइड द ओशन इफ यू गो इन डीप ओशन यू विल सी इन द डीप ओशन देर इज अ रिवर लाइक थिंग विच इज मूविंग नॉट नियर द शोर सो इन द डीप ओशन वेन द ओशन वाटर मूव इन अ स्पेसिफिक डायरेक्शन विच इज सिमिलर टू द रिवर ऑन द लैंड वी विल कॉल इट एज एन ओशन करंट जनरली क्यों होता है ड्यू टू टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस है विंडस होती है एंड विंडस के कारण देर इज आर ओशन करंट एंड वॉट डू दिस ओशन करंट डू Suppose this is our imaginary continent, and this is a second imaginary continent. Beach me there is an equator, and these are the polar regions. So, warm water from the equator will go towards the poles. Warm water from the equator will go towards the polar regions. एनी आइडिया ये डायरेक्शन ऐसा क्यों है बिकॉज देर इज अ फोर्स इन क्लाइमेट विल कम दैट इज नोन एज कोरियोलिस फोर्स एज पर द कोरियोलिस फोर्स एनी मूविंग ऑब्जेक्ट इन नॉर्दर्न सदर्न हेमिसफेयर इट कैन बी ओशन करंट्स इट कैन बी विंड्स इट कैन बी प्लेन इट कैन बी योर पेपर प्लेन वेन यू थ्रो इट प्रॉपरली सो इट विल गेट डिफ्लेक्टेड टू द राइट हैंड साइड इन द नदर्न हेमिसफेयर एंड इट विल गेट डिफ्लेक्टेड टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इन द सदर्न हेमिसफेयर दैट इज वॉट इज द कोरियोलिस फोर्स so ocean currents are deflected to the right hand side and they go and they hit the parts of continents the western parts of the continents in both the hemispheres so what do we see surprisingly is in this region of the world jahan pe the temperature should be extremely cold jahan pe the temperatures are warmer warm not hot warm matlab summer temperature is around 21 degree celsius jabki hona chahiye in the had there been no ocean currents the summer temperature would have been 10 degree celsius but the summer temperature is warmer winter temperature in this latitude should be minus 10 minus 20 degree celsius but winter temperature is 0 degree celsius matlab 20 degree se 10 se 20 degree celsius the temperature is warmer as a result of this summers are not very hot like india winters are not very cold like the russia and because of this this part of the world people have best energy and this is considered to be the best climate for physical and mental development i am talking about european type of climate west european type of climate 
जहाँ पे समर का टेम्परेचर इज 20 टू 21 डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड विंटर टेम्परेचर इज 0 टू 4 डिग्री सेल्सियस सो 21 डिग्री सेल्सियस इज आवर विंटर टेम्परेचर रिमेंबर वी आर इन ट्रॉपिक्स समर का टेम्परेचर आवर इज 45 डिग्री सेल्सियस के आसपास सो एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस the the this is the most advanced economies of the world west europea it includes france it includes britain it includes some parts of scandinavia it includes germany it includes netherland all this region dusra hurricane cyclones cyclones hurricanes are originate in any ocean jahan pe the temperature is greater than 27 degree celsius ab this is the region जहाँ पे हरिकेन्स और साइक्लॉन्स और द टाइफून्स आर वेरी कॉमन क्यों एक तो ट्रॉपिक्स है गर्म ऑलरेडी है प्लस वार्म ओशन करंट विल इंक्रीज द इंटेंसिटी एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस यू कैन सी यूएस में कितना पावरफुल है द साइक्लॉन्स दे आर नोन एज हरिकेन्स इन यूएसए चाइना में दे आर नोन एज टाइफून्स बिकॉज इन दिस पार्ट सो ये पूरा पानी गर्म है this entire water is warm all this red color what you see is warm as compared to the surrounding ye surrounding region hai isme temperature is more warmer so it is like river continuously it is moving so what do the ocean currents do ocean currents will affect the temperature of this region yahan pe bahut cold hona chahiye tha but it is warmer yahan pe they will affect the temperature of this region ki there are heat waves which are caused third because of ocean currents russia is more powerful country in arctic ocean rather than usa why because ye samjho atlantic this is usa and canada this is europe and europe ke upar russia so in the arctic ocean russian all the ports should be covered with ice throughout the year but russian ports are ice free throughout the year why warm ocean current warm ocean currents are going russian ports are ice free throughout the year yes they are more colder so this is what is ocean current ye sirf abhi yaad rakhna ye hame climate mein likhna nahi hai there are some ocean currents which are known as cold ocean currents they originate from the polar regions and they come to the equatorial regions and thus kya hota hai because of ocean currents there is a heat transfer and because of heat transfer life is possible on the earth had there been no ocean currents and winds this area would have been so warm ki life would not have been possible this area had been so cold ki life not no life possible there is a transfer of heat but ye jo blue lines hai cold ocean currents inke do impact hai one impact is where the cold and warm ocean currents meet there is temperature inversion that is our next topic just as we finish the factors and wherever there is temperature inversion there are dense fogs 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 you know what is fogs so dense fogs and because of dense fogs visibility is reduced right ab ye jo blue line hai cold currents they bring large amount of icebergs big icebergs with them because ocean currents ka speed is around 35 kilometers per hour agar if you are a good captain of a ship you will put your ship in ocean current and ocean current fir us side leke jayegi jidhar aapko jana hai they, they are very powerful jaise jet streams are very powerful if you are a good pilot you will put your plane in jet stream if you are a bad pilot and if you try to put your plane in jet stream flight crash ho jayega it is not that easy these are very powerful mechanisms on the atmosphere flight plane a bahut hi choti cheez hai in compared to the jet stream kitni badi ship sabse badi cruise itni dikhegi and you see the ocean currents and therefore you know that titanic accident kaise hua visibility is reduced and icebergs are brought by the current and thus it cut through the titanic so this is the region which is fi best fishing region in the world because of mixing of of cold and warm ocean currents but it is also the worst region for navigation it is the region for accidents fog mein to abhi aapko dekhoge yamuna express way piling up of the cars etc it will be very common here also so yahan pe ships ho raha hai hamare isme road pe hota hai 
द ओनली डिफरेंस इज दैट हमारे यहाँ पे ट्रेन डिले हो जाती है बिकॉज फॉग्स विल रिड्यूज द विजिबिलिटी सो बट सेकेंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज इन द ट्रॉपिक्स यहाँ पे इन द ट्रॉपिक्स ऑन द वेस्टर्न कोस्ट ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंट इन द सब ट्रॉपिकल बेल्ट समवेयर हियर कोल्ड करंट इज कमिंग बिकॉज द कोल्ड करंट इज कमिंग हाई प्रेशर या लो प्रेशर हाई प्रेशर हाई प्रेशर में हवा नीचे आएगी ऊपर जाएगी नीचे आएगी द एयर इज फोर्स टू कम डाउन एंड इसीलिए वी विल स्टडी इन सम लेक्चर डेजर्ट्स आर ऑलवेज लोकेटेड ऑन द वेस्टर्न कोस्ट ऑफ द कॉन्टिनेंट्स दिस इज वन रीजन फॉर द लोकेशन ऑफ डेजर्ट अगर ये यूरेशिया है सो so, और अफ्रीका है दिस इज सहारा डेजर्ट सिमिलरली देर इज अ कोल्ड ओशन करंट दिस इज कालाहरी डेजर्ट दिस इज अटाकामा डेजर्ट दिस इज कैलिफोर्निया डेजर्ट ऑल द डेजर्ट हॉट डेजर्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आर लोकेटेड ऑन द वेस्टर्न कोस्ट ऑफ द कॉन्टिनें इंडिया इज एन एक्सेप्शन इंडिया का जो डेजर्ट है इट इज नॉट फॉर दिस रीजन तो थार डेजर्ट छोड़ के बाकी जितने भी डेजर्ट है हॉट डेजर्ट दे आर लोकेटेड बिकॉज दे आर वॉस्ड बाय द ओशन करंट सो ओशन करंट इट सेल्फ इज अ वेरी बिग टॉपिक बट हियर वी जस्ट शुड नो वॉट इज द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द ओशन करंट्स Fine with this? Air is forced to come down. When the air is forced to come down, it will not give rainfall. Kali, we have made it. When the air is forced to go up, it will give rainfall. I will explain that with the help of humidity. When we do the humidity, wala chapter. Hmm? Yeah, simple. Abhi air wear chodo. रेनफॉल के लिए देर हैज देर हैज टू बी ह्यूमिडिटी ह्यूमिडिटी के लिए देर हैज टू बी इवेपरेशन इवेपरेशन में लॉकल इन कोल्ड वाटर और वार्म वाटर वार्म वाटर साइक्लॉन्स इवेपरेशन हाई प्रेशर में हवा नीचे आने के बाद बाहर जाती है पहले हवा तो नीचे आनी चाहिए बाहर मतलब कहा हाँ रुको डोंट कंफ्यूज टू मेनी थिंग्स हवा जो भी नीचे है इट विल डाइवर्ज ओनली हवा जो भी ऊपर जा रही है इट हैज टू कन्वर्ज कन्वर्जिंग एयर वेन इट गोज अप रेनफॉल डाइवर्जेंस नो रेनफॉल You will understand this concept in relative humidity. अभी नहीं समझ में आएगा There is a concept of relative humidity. Okay, you will take down. मेरे को doubt नहीं समझा. So you can take down. The ocean currents. Ocean currents are powerful mechanism. Ocean currents are the powerful mechanism for heat transfer. For heat transfer from lower to higher latitudes. For heat transfer from lower to higher latitudes. The regions which are washed by warm ocean currents. regions which are washed by warm ocean currents washed by warm ocean currents will experience will experience washed by warm ocean currents warm ocean currents will experience higher temperatures higher temperatures as compared to the as compared to the temperature of the other places in the same latitudes as compared to the temperature of the same other places in the same latitudes as compared to the temperature of other places in the same latitudes samajh mein aaya iska meaning for example if this is a place iska temperature a will be greater than the temperature of b the temperature of this x will be greater than the temperature of Why? Maybe at the same latitudes. Example: Example: 
ये हम बाद में डिटेल में करेंगे वाइल डूइंग द क्लाइमेट्स एनवायरमेंट बायोम ब्रिटिश टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट ब्रिटिश टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट और वेस्ट यूरोपियन टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट वेस्ट यूरोपियन टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट ओज इट्स ओरिजिन वेस्ट यूरोपियन टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट ओज ओ डब्ल्यू ई एस इट्स ओरिजिन टू द वार्मिंग इफेक्ट टू द वार्मिंग इफेक्ट ऑफ इस ओशन करण का नाम है वार्म करण का नॉर्थ अटलांटिक ड्रिफ्ट नॉर्थ अटलांटिक ड्रिफ्ट टेम्परेचर रेंज तो वेरी करेगा मतलब जैसे हम नॉर्मल केसेस में देखते हैं कि कोस्टल रीजन के पास जो मतलब उसका नॉट नाउ किसी भी कोस्टल रीजन किसी भी कोस्टल रीजन अलनीनो क्या है एक ओशन करंट ही है याद रखना सो ओशन करंट इट्स इट्स अ वेरी बिग टॉपिक बर्मुडा ट्रायंगल क्या है ओशन करंट है स्टोरी हैज बीन क्रिएटेड ऑफ बर्मुडा ट्रायंगल वैसे इट इज एन इंपैक्ट ऑफ ओशन करंट सो ओशन करंट ओरिजिन इंपैक्ट इट्स इटसेल्फ इज अ सेपरेट लेक्चर इन इटसेल्फ इन द रीजंस ऑफ कोल्ड करंट इन द रीजंस ऑफ कोल्ड करंट temperature drops temperature drops and in the trade wind belt in the trade wind belt in the trade wind belt we'll do the winds today itself in the trade wind belt the western coast of the continents the western coast of the continents have deserts due to the desiccating effect due to the desiccating effect uh, deserts due to the desiccating desiccating in simple english means lack of moisture due to the desiccating effect of cold currents due to the desiccating effect of the cold currents jyada rain bahut hai monsoon always on the eastern coast deserts always on the western coast ऐसे ही होता है यही होता है वाटर बॉडी अगर होगी तो ईस्ट कोस्ट वेस्ट कोस्ट कैसे होगा रिवर इज नॉट एट ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट सोर्स ऑफ मॉइस्चर इंपॉर्टेंट सोर्स ऑफ मॉइस्चर इज सी ओशंस रिवर नहीं थोड़ा बहुत तो बाजू में लेक होगा तो उस एरिया में ज्यादा बारिश होगी रिमेंबर वी आर नॉट डूइंग लोकल क्लाइमेट लोकल क्लाइमेट अगर आप पढ़ने जाओगे यू विल गेट कंफ्यूज यू विल गो मैड लिटरली लोकल क्लाइमेट दिल्ली के हर किलोमीटर के बाद क्लाइमेट चेंज हो रहा है जियोमोर्फोलॉजी नहीं है कि एक जगह हिमालय है तो है सुबह का क्लाइमेट अलग है एक घंटे बाद का क्लाइमेट अलग है यू डोंट नो शाम में क्या क्लाइमेट होगा बारिश होगी या नहीं मॉनसून अभी तक प्रेडिक्ट नहीं कर पा रहे हैं हम आफ्टर सो मच टेक्नोलॉजिकल इन्वेंशन सो डोंट गो इनटू लोकल क्लाइमेट 
लिमिट योर सेल्फ टू क्लाइम जो वर्ल्ड हम हम वी इनफैक्ट इन जी एस वी जस्ट डू द मैक्रो क्लाइमेट कि क्या क्या हो सकता है हम इंडिया को कहते हैं मानसून टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट बट इंडिया में टुंड्रा भी है इंडिया में डेजर्ट्स भी है इंडिया में ट्रॉपिकल एवरग्रीन फॉरेस्ट भी है इंडिया में सवाना भी है हरियाणा इज वॉट सवाना टाइप ऑफ ग्रास लैंड्स पंजाब इज अ मिक्सचर ऑफ सवाना ग्रास लैंड्स एंड ड्राई डेसिडियस फॉरेस्ट सो लोकल क्लाइमेट ऑफ एनी प्लेस विल कीप ऑन वेरिंग मानसून जितना जो सिंपल लग रहा था कि अल नीनो कॉजेस ड्रॉट्स इन इन इंडियन मानसून 97, 1997 वाज़ द स्ट्रॉन्गेस्ट अल नीनो ईयर एंड उस साल सबसे ज़्यादा बारिश हुई इंडिया में फिर तब पता चला डिस्कवरी करके कि देर इज समथिंग नोन एज इंडियन ओशन डाइपोल दैट मीन्स इवन द सैटेलाइट्स कैन नॉट से इसीलिए तो वेन आई एम डी कि बारिश होने वाली है उस दिन बारिश होती नहीं है इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि आई एम डी इज नॉट एफिशियंट मानसून इज या क्लाइमेट का एवरीथिंग इज सो कॉम्प्लेक्स बिकॉज इट इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन न्यूमरस मॉइस्चर कंडीशन अर्थवेक का डिपेंडेंट ओनली ऑन कन्वेक्शनल करंट्स है तो अर्थवेक है यहाँ पे सन कितना है क्लाइमेट में धूल कितनी है सिटी के आसपास कितनी गाड़िया है सो so धूल ज्यादा है कि नहीं इट इज ऑल गोइंग टू अफेक्ट इंसोलेशन गेटिंग दिस करंट्स मॉइस्चर नहीं लाएंगे अभी ओशन करंट्स भूल जाओ सो दिस आर द फैक्टर्स दैट अफेक्ट द टेम्परेचर ओशन करंट्स विंड्स विंड्स विल आल्सो अफेक्ट द टेम्परेचर सो द लास्ट फैक्टर इज विंड्स वो एक अलग टॉपिक ही है यू विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई हाउ द विंड्स विल अफेक्ट सो जस्ट वहां पे लिखना रेफर टू विंड्स horizontal distribution we have already done that is the temperature goes on decreasing from equator towards the poles but the highest temperature is not found in the equatorial region that is equatorial region means 0 to 5 degree north and 0 to 5 degree south highest temperature are found in this belt so horizontal distribution of temperature when this is one fact which we have already written but second gk based question i am asking you horizontal distribution of temperature may if there is variation there will be more variation in the northern hemisphere or in the southern hemisphere there is more variation on the water bodies or on the land land so land kahan pe zyada hai northern mein ya southern mein northern hemisphere mein so there will be more variation in the northern hemisphere so take down horizontal distribution first point to mai bahut fast repeat kar raha hu because we have already written in general the temperature goes on decreasing from equator towards the poles fir se repeat karu in general the temperature goes on decreasing from equator towards the poles but the highest temperature is found in sub tropical high pressure belt is found in sub tropical high pressure belt the horizontal distribution of temperature horizontal distribution of temperature is shown by imaginary lines is shown by imaginary lines known as isotherms iso matlab same therms means temperature is known as known as isotherms known as isotherms last point in horizontal distribution
temperature variation temperature variation is greater in northern hemisphere is greater in northern hemisphere because of differential because of differential मैं थोड़े टफ वर्ड्स दे रहा हूँ सो दैट एग्जाम में द वर्ड्स इफ दे कम इन इजी मैनर दैट यू कैन ऑलरेडी नो डिफरेंशियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ लैंड एंड वाटर डिफरेंशियल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ लैंड एंड वाटर सिंपल इंग्लिश में क्या होगा बिकॉज नदर्न एमोस्फेयर इज डोमिनेटेड बाय लैंड and southern hemisphere is dominated by water isi ko hum kahenge differential distribution of land and water when we do the vertical distribution in the vertical distribution you already know the rule what is the rule if this is the ground 0 km if we are standing on the ground the temperature is going to increase or decrease jaise aap upar jaoge the temperature will go on decreasing so agar ye graph hai on the y axis there is temperature can i say this is how the temperature will go to on decreasing at the rate of 6.5 degree celsius for every kilometers or 165 degree 165 meter meter ke liye kitna 1 degree celsius for every 165 meters kuch simple mathematics convert that so this is what is known as normal lapse rate that means in any place irrespective of whatever the temperature is that of a place 0 degrees bhi ho sakta hai 100 degrees bhi ho sakta hai upar jaoge to temperature should go on decreasing isliye humne kiya dekha hai tropopause mein the coldest temperature is over the equator kyunki troposphere ka height is greater over the equator remembering this what is the temperature at tropopause minus 60 degree celsius because the temperature goes on decreasing is this rule for entire all the four layers of the atmosphere or only for troposphere troposphere and mesosphere this rule will apply to troposphere and mesosphere so which is the coldest layer of the atmosphere tropopause ya mesopause mesopause kahan pe hai minus 80 it is meso pause bhul gaye revise this all things that means can i say agar niche warm hai temperature to upar it should be cool aur upar jaoge to it should be cold aur upar jaoge to it should be colder or coldest jitna aap upar jaoge isliye we generally see mountains jitna aap upar jaoge to utna there will be chances of glaciers jitna hum upar jayenge utna there will be the temperature will go on decreasing so is this the vertical distribution of temperature right but imagine sometimes niche ka temperature is cold or cool and upar ka temperature is warm ऊपर मतलब नॉट अप टू एंड ऑफ ट्रोपोस्फियर ओनली नियर टू द ग्राउंड सो इज इट अपोजिट टू द नॉर्मल कंडीशन एंड दिस कंडीशन इज व्हाट इज नोन एज टेम्परेचर इनवर्शन वो हम पढ़ने वाले हैं कैसे होता द टेम्परेचर इनवर्शन गेटिंग दिस दिस इज द सीजन ऑफ टेम्परेचर इनवर्शन जो अभी तक था बट 
बारी शाते ही टेम्परेचर इन्वर्शन हैज बीन रिमूव्ड यू विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई सो टेक डाउन टेम्परेचर इन्वर्शन आई एम नॉट डिक्टेटिंग वर्टिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन दिस यू ऑलरेडी नो द टेम्परेचर गोज ऑन डिक्रीजिंग एट सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस फॉर एवरी किलोमीटर हमने रीजन भी देखे है वाई नदन नदन का एटमोस्फियर का या सी का सी का सदन का बिकॉज वॉटर हैज द कैपेसिटी टू रिटेन हीट टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन यस ही रेडिएट करेगा In the normal conditions, in the normal conditions, temperature decreases with increasing altitude. Temperature decreases with the increasing altitude. But sometimes, sometimes. sometimes there is a dominance of sometimes there is a dominance of cold air near the ground there is a dominance of cold air near the ground and warm air above warm air above thus the temperature does the temperature does the temperature increases with the increasing height does the temperature increases with the increasing height such condition which is characterized by such condition which is characterized by negative lapse rate is characterized by negative lapse rate is known as temperature inversion is known as temperature inversion such condition which is characterized by negative lapse rate is known as temperature inversion you can draw this diagram aise diagram so sab banao exam mein सी द डिफरेंस यहां पर द टेम्परेचर इज इंक्रीजिंग यहां पर द टेम्परेचर इज डिक्रीजिंग दिस इज नॉर्मल लैप्स रेट लैप्स मतलब कम होना एंड दिस इज नेगेटिव लैप्स रेट लैप्स इट सेल्फ इज अ नेगेटिव साइन लैप्स मतलब कम होना Negative lapse rate. Negative and negative means positive. So negative lapse rate means temperature is increasing. No, no. We will write a line. Have you drawn this diagram?
ये अगर कंफ्यूज कर रहा है तो ये मत करना क्या कंटिन्यू टेम्परेचर इन्वर्शन टेम्परेचर इन्वर्शन ऑकर्स ओनली इन ट्रोपोस्फियर टेम्परेचर इन्वर्शन ऑकर्स ओनली इन ट्रोपोस्फियर टेम्परेचर इन्वर्शन ऑकर्स ओनली इन द ट्रोपोस्फियर एंड मोस्टली वेरी नियर टू द ग्राउंड सर्फेस मोस्टली वेरी नियर टू द ग्राउंड सर्फेस मोस्टली वेरी नियर टू द ग्राउंड सर्फेस ऐसा नहीं है कि ट्रोपोस्फेयर में हवा कम हो स्ट्रेटोस्फेयर में इंक्रीज हो रहा है तो टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन है वी आर कंसिडरिंग ओनली अबाउट द फिनोमिन ऑफ ट्रोपोस्फेयर सो इन नॉर्मल कंडीशन इन द ट्रोपोस्फेयर द टेम्परेचर शुड डिक्रीज इट इज इंक्रीजिंग सो इट इज टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन This test had a question also, Saturday का prelims test series वाला not your NCERT दिया था कि नहीं test सब लोग देते जाओ test पढ़ाई हो या ना हो give the test syllabus even if it is not covered at least you will get an idea of how the questions are coming the prelims test series का questions are पहली टेस्ट वॉज तो डिजास्टर आई ऑल्सो नो दैट सो द प्रिलिम्स टेस्ट सीरीज का क्वेश्चन आर वेरी डिफरेंट फ्रॉम योर एनसीआर का क्वेश्चन दे आर मोर ऑफ एन अप्लाइड क्वेश्चन सो देर विल बी मेनी थिंग्स यू डोंट नो डोंट गेट डिसअपॉइंटेड बाई इट आउ टेस्ट दो एंड अटेंड द डिस्कशन जब भी आपका वो पोर्शन कवर हो जाएगा यू विल रियलाइज कि कैसे क्वेश्चन आते हैं वॉट यू आर स्टडिंग एंड क्वेश्चन कैसे अप्लाइड आ रहे हैं For example, I had given you a question on advectional as well as non-advectional inversion in the prelims test series. Now, in geography, what do you mean by advection? You already know when there is a movement of air. What do you mean by no advection? Means no movement of air. So, advectional inversion, kya hoga? Which involves movement of air. टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन हैज बिन योर क्वेश्चन इन मेन्स टू टाइम्स प्रिलिम्स में तो पांच छह बार विच इन्वॉल्व द मूवमेंट ऑफ एयर एडवेक्शन मीन्स मूवमेंट ऑफ एयर एंड नॉन एडवेक्शनल इन्वर्शन which there is no movement of air in which there is no movement of air example 1 is valley inversion jo ncert mein diya hai example 2 is sea fogs example 3 is sea smoke we'll look at all three mains mein agar aata hai Stop at one only. Don't go because answer will be. Itna time nahi hoga. You are writing all the types because most important hai this non-advectional inversion. Example is is known as ground inversion. Or ek hi hai iska. radiation inversion ground inversion or radiation inversion
So, here we'll first start with the ground inversion because this is more important as it is happens in India. ये बहुत ही localized phenomena है. Sea fogs will occur only when there is a mixing up of warm and cold ocean currents and sea smoke जैसा inversion आपके घर में रोज bathroom में हो रहा है. That is जब आप गरम पानी डालते हो bucket में जो धुआं निकलता है that is nothing but temperature inversion. It is not actually a temperature inversion. It is condensation का one part but it is taken as a part of a temperature inversion. So we'll first start with the non-advectional inversion. इसलिए है पढ़ रहे हम हो रहा है इसलिए नॉन एडवेक्शनल इन्वर्शन मींस नो मूवमेंट ऑफ एयर और वेरी लिटिल मूवमेंट ऑफ एयर नाउ सपोज दिस इज दिल्ली एंड दिस इज द ग्राउंड सरफेस ड्यूरिंग द विंटर्स विल द फ्लोअर और द ग्राउंड ऑफ दिल्ली बिकम वेरी कोल्ड यस कैन यू वॉक विदाउट फुटवेयर in the extreme cold no so therefore we wear socks also here it becomes very cold is air a good conductor or a bad conductor of heat okay. air is a bad conductor of heat so the ground becomes very cold why because of the winters as the sun is in the southern hemisphere imagine this condition happens in delhi so what will happen when there is a snowfall in shimla kulu manali etc this regions as a result of this ye jo air ka parcel hai which is coming which is over the ground this is entire parcel of air the parcel of air which comes in the contact with the immediate ground surface this parcel of air if it is there which is coming into the contact ye move nahi kar raha hai ye stagnant air hai which is there because it comes into the contact with the ground surface it becomes cold but as air is a bad conductor of heat it cannot transfer the heat or cold efficiently so upar ka air remains Very simple. Is this not an non-advectional inversion? What is temperature inversion? नीचे की air ठंडी होनी चाहिए, ऊपर की air गर्म होनी चाहिए. This is what is known as non-advectional inversion. Why it is known as ground inversion? Because it is caused on the ground due to cooling. Why it is known as radiation inversion? Because excess heat is lost by the ground due to the radiation, due to radiation, terrestrial radiation. So this kind of inversion is known as a ground inversion. what is the impact of this ground inversion the impact of this ground inversion you are going to see this thoda bahut water vapor is always always there in the atmosphere right so when the cold air is and this is a warm air it is having some kind of an water vapor the cold air will cool the water vapor that is present in the warm air water vapor after cooling will become what water droplets this water droplets will be very very tiny and this water droplets which are tiny will accumulate here at the boundary and isko aap kahoge fog it will result into the formation of fog sabse cold air niche hogi so ye pura fog ban jayega fog in hindi कोहरा नहीं ये काम कर रही है फॉग इन हिंदी इज कोहरा सो द सेम थिंग हैपेंड हैपेंस व्हेन यू कीप अ ग्लास ऑफ एक्सट्रीमली कोल्ड वाटर जो वॉट द वाटर पेपर इज इज देयर इन द रूम दिस विल गेट स्टिक टू द ग्लास पार्टिकल एंड ग्लास के ऊपर पानी आ जाएगा क्या हो रहा है कंडेंसेशन द सेम थिंग इज हैपनिंग हियर वेन यू टेक आउट दैट ग्लास पानी नीचे गिरता है या नहीं या उधर ही रहता है घर में जाना की प ग्लास ऑफ कोल्ड वाटर एंड उठाओ उस ग्लास को पानी नीचे नहीं गिरेगा ऐसा टपकेगा नहीं बिकॉज प्रेसिपिटेशन नहीं होगा सिर्फ कंडेंसेशन होगा फॉग्स बारिश नहीं देता इट डज नॉट गिव प्रेसिपिटेशन प्रेसिपिटेशन इज बाय क्लाउड्स बिकॉज प्रेसिपिटेशन के लिए द वाटर ड्रॉपलेट हैज टू बी बिगर सो दैट इट कैन बी अट्रैक्टेड बाय ग्रेविटी अदरवाइज द वाटर ड्रॉपलेट इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल प्रेसिपिटेशन के लिए आपको ग्लास को उल्टा करना पड़ेगा जो उसके अंदर पानी है so this is 
आई वॉन्टेड टू शो यू दिस पर ठंडा पानी मिला नहीं फ्रिज में सो अदरवाइज इट इज वेरी सिंपल कंडेंसेशन एंड प्रेसिपिटेशन के बीच का डिफरेंस सो दिस विल रिजल्ट इन टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फॉग्स बट इन द सिटी लाइक दिल्ली फॉग प्लस स्मोक विल रिजल्ट इन टू फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्मोक अंडरस्टैंडिंग वाई विद द कमिंग अप ऑफ विंटर्स द स्मॉग एंड एयर पोल्यूशन इज इंक्रीजिंग एक तो एयर इज कमिंग डाउन प्लस द फॉग के साथ स्मोक विल मिक्स एंड देर विल बी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ स्मॉग्स सो मैक्म इन द अर्ली मॉर्निंग या इन द आफ्टरनून कब होता है सबसे ज्यादा स्मॉग अर्ली मॉर्निंग वाई बिकॉज सबसे ज्यादा ठंड कब होती है इन द मॉर्निंग एज सुन एज द सन विल कम आउट ड्यूरिंग द डे टाइम the water droplets will evaporate and the fog will start disappearing except if it is peak december or january when the fog will become light or disappear nahi ho payega because the sun rays do not have that much power as the sun is in the southern hemisphere to evaporate the water droplets so this is what is the ground inversion a phenomena everyday phenomena in the permafrost region jahan pe pura ice hai surface pe that is the tundra a winter phenomena in the lower latitudes in the tropical and the subtropical region totally absent near the equator because equator does not have winters getting it so this is what is the ground inversion but iske liye there are some conditions ye conditions rat low class mein hi there are some conditions and if you can know the conditions to fight delhi ka pollution you just have to reverse the conditions ये जो आजकल क्वेश्चन आ रहे हैं हाउ कैन यू फाइट द कंडीशन कंसेप्ट इज टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन मत होने दो देर विल नो बी देर विल बी नो पोल्यूशन इन दिल्ली सो वन ऑफ द कंडीशन इज कोल्ड ग्राउंड सरफेस अब आस्क यूर सेल्फ कैन यू फाइट दिस कंडीशन नो यू कैन नॉट फाइट दिस कंडीशन विंटर्स में द ग्राउंड सर्फेस विल बी कोल्ड ओनली वी डू नॉट हैव पावर कि नीचे से हम बर्नर चला देंगे एंड द so that is not possible second long cold winter nights now ask yourself why this condition because if the nights are not longer and the days are longer days mein insulation will be more and heating will be more night mein the heat has to be lost what is winter long nights short days so the heating during the day time is less as compared to the heat lost during the night time getting it isliye the over the coming days ab barish bhi ho gayi hai let the atmospheric water vapor go and there will be very dense fog which will come to delhi but thankfully hopefully not thankfully hopefully it will be without pollution kyunki jitna bhi pollution hai it has been reduced by the daily rainfall third now if there is large amount of water vapor what will happen temperature inversion hoga ya nahi hoga temperature inversion is caused due to the lost by when the ground loses the heat but if there is too much of humidity water vapor thoda bahut to hoga i am talking about humidity humidity is the measurement of water vapor if there is large amount of humidity water vapor is a greenhouse gas it will trap the heat and it will not allow the heat to be radiated to the surrounding so third condition ye sara winters yaad rakho you get an answer hmm? ha 2 km from the ground विंटर्स में ड्राई एयर है कल ही मैंने एग्जांपल दिया था वी यू आर यूजिंग कोल्ड क्रीम एड देखना आजकल कोल्ड क्रीम मॉइस्चराइजर एंड क्रैक क्रीम की एड आएगी जो बिकॉज एडिया भी फटेगी होट भी फटेंगे एंड स्किन भी फटेगी दैट इज एक्सेंस ऑफ मॉइस्चर दैट इज द थर्ड कंडीशन प्रेजेंस ऑफ ड्राई एयर नियर द ग्राउंड लास्ट क्लाउड इन द स्काई और क्लाउडलेस एंड क्लियर स्काई बिकॉज इफ देर इज क्लाउड इन द स्काई वॉट दे विल डू they will radiate the heat back they will not allow the heat to escape in 
इंसोलेशन वैसे भी कम है बिकॉज द सन इज इन दर्दन एमोस्फियर बट इफ द स्काई इज क्लाउडी द हीट विच इज बींग लॉस्ट ड्यूरिंग द नाइट टाइम इट विल बी ट्रैप्ड बाय द क्लाउड सी यूर सिंपल एग्जाम्पल जब भी क्लाउडी है स्काई तो यू विल फील गर्मी बहुत ज्यादा है ह्यूमिडिटी बहुत ज्यादा है दैट इज वॉट क्लाउडलेस एंड क्लियर स्काइज cloudless and clear skies ab first two conditions we cannot fight but this condition if there is a smog in delhi what does theory says do artificial rainfall agar artificial rainfall nahi hua to rainfall hote hi smog kam ho gaya getting it because presence it does not require water vapor it requires absence of water vapor whenever there is rain all this pollutants will fall down with the rain and they will go in the drain drain there cloudless and clear skies do cloud seeding theek hai cloud seeding cloud seeding means cloud ka formation karo so that uh, by spraying the aerosols in the atmosphere and last condition which is temperature inversion will occurring will occur when there is a separation of warm and cold layer now imagine if there are strong winds will there be temperature inversion or will there be mixing up of warm and cold air mixing up of warm and cold air so hmm. uh, temperature inversion nikal hi dega we can so these are the five conditions which are necessary for temperature inversion very logical kya yeah? agar temp fog ko fight karna hai to fog ko nahi fight karna hai smog ko fight karna hai to rainfall ke liye तो क्या करना चाहिए था दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट ने मतलब सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ने देर वॉज सो मच पोल्यूशन दे शुड हैव डन आर्टिफिशियल रेनफॉल पिछले साल भी ये हुआ आर्टिफिशियल रेनफॉल किया नहीं सो दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट बिकॉज सी स्टेट गवर्नमेंट डज नॉट हैव दैट मच रिसोर्सेस एटलीस्ट इफ इट इज वेन दिल्ली आधा स्टेट है इट डज नॉट हैव मच पावर सो वॉट डिड केजरीवाल डू केजरीवाल हायर्ड ऑल द टैंकर और पानी छेड़ सो ही हैड आस्ट मोदी टू डू आर्टिफिशियल रेनफॉल बट आर्टिफिशियल रेनफॉल किया नहीं सो ही टूक ऑल द टैंकर एंड पानी छेड़ डाला रास्ते पे सो दैट द डस्ट विल सेटल डाउन सो दैट देर विल बी लेस स्मॉग सो दैट दिन में द हीट इज ट्रैप्ड गेटिंग इट वाई वी आर डूइंग दिस वॉट चाइना डज आई टोल्ड यू एस्टडे चाइना हैज कंस्ट्रक्टेड आर्टिफिशियल टावर्स चालीस मंजिल की बिल्डिंग है विच हैज ओनली फैंस एंड इफ देर इज अ स्मॉग दे विल स्विच ऑन द फैन आर्टिफिशियल विंड्स because to remove the temperature inversion there should be no movement of air or very less movement of air what does philippines do philippines have constructed buildings which are concave in shape this is a building which is totally having glass face and it is concave in shape is building ke aage there is a pond and pond ke niche there are solar power panels so when the sun rays is coming it is being directed directly on the solar power panels is a solar energy also they construct plus heating say there is evaporation and then there whenever the wind blows there is moisture in the city and thus there is removal of smog do fayde ek to solar power also they are generating plus they are fighting pollution otherwise china and philippines mein condition aisa tha that people could not step out Beijing was the most polluted city in the world. Now it is the Delhi. Delhi is the most polluted city in the world. Beijing fought pollution by constructing this techniques. Yehi to pucha tha is saal ke essay me. One of the topic you have to write is this: alternative technologies to fight climate change and pollution. Ab what is in the news? There is a startup jisne ban diya hai the Delhi government ko concept of towers. 
बट उसका कहना है कि इट कैन क्लियर द 75 स्क्वायर 75,000 स्क्वायर किलोमीटर का एरिया व्हिच इज गोइंग टू पोल्यू व्हिच इज गोइंग टू रिमूव द एयर एंड इट इज मच मोर चीपर देन द चाइना का टावर्स हैव यू रेड दैट न्यूज नॉट नॉट वायु वायु इज समथिंग डिफरेंट आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्टार्टअप का जो पिछले हफ्ते जो स्टार्टअप ने दिया था टू करोड़ रुपीस का एक टावर है दे आर आस्किंग गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया टू इन्वेस्ट इन दिस टावर्स दिस आर द चीपेस्ट एयर प्योरीफायर्स एक न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी है एंड इट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिल्ली इट इज डन बाय दिल्ली बेस्ट बिजनेस मैन एंड इट हैज अ डब्ल्यू टी ओ का ट्रिप्स में दैट इज इट हैज एन इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी राइट ऑल्सो सो वी विल हैव टू थिंक इन दिस लाइन्स एक तो आर्टिफिशियल रेनफॉल करो या फिर कंस्ट्रक्ट लाइक दिस लास्ट टू लास्ट ईयर हार्वर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी हैड इंस्ट्रक्टेड सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ये जो भी एंट्री पॉइंट्स है दिल्ली के दिल्ली के चार एंट्री पॉइंट्स है डिफरेंट वहाँ पे बड़े बड़े फैंस लगाओ सो वेन एवर देर इज एन टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन इन ये पोल्यूशन वाला कंसेप्ट जस्ट विच स्विच ऑन द फैन सो देर इज अ विंड एंड यहाँ से पोल्यूशन हट जाएगा जाएगा साइड वाले रीजन में ऑब्वियसली बट दिल्ली विल बी सेफ एटलीस्ट यू हैव टू शो दैट दिल्ली इज सेफ बिकॉज इट इज कैपिटल सो कहाँ पे सो गर्मी होनी चाहिए यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमूव द टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन टू फाइट स्मॉग वॉट यू हैव टू डू यू हैव टू रिमूव टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन सो ये जो जितने कंडीशन है इनको आपको टेक्नोलॉजी यूज करके रिमूव करना है देन ओनली यू कैन फाइट पोल्यूशन यही तो कंसेप्ट है टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन सी द डाउट इज डाउट एनी वन हैज दिस डाउट हिज डाउट इज वाई देर इज वॉर्म एयर अबाउ वेन देर शुड बी कोल्ड एयर अबाउ बिकॉज दिस इज टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन इन द नॉर्मल केस देर वुड हैव बिन अ कोल्ड एयर अबाउ एनी आर यू गेटिंग दिस वाई इज दिस वॉर्म एयर अबाउ यही तो है कंडीशन क्यू है वॉर्म एयर सरफेस के पास कोल्ड है ऊपर की एयर वार्म है क्योंकि इसी को तो हम कहेंगे टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन अगर ये एयर कोल्ड होती तो फिर नॉर्मल कंडीशन ही होता फिर हम टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन पढ़ते ही नहीं सन इज इन द सदर्न हेमिस्फियर सन इज इन द सदर्न हेमिस्फियर वाई इज दिस वार्म अबाउ यू आर आस्किंग बिकॉज नीचे की एयर इज कोल्डर एयर इज अ बैड कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट अगर एयर हैड बिन गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट तो पूरी एयर का टेम्परेचर ये होता एयर इज अ बैड कंडक्टर इसीलिए वॉट इट वट इज हिज हैव यू एनी वन हैज दिस डाउट कि ये हीट ट्रांसफर क्यों नहीं हुआ ऊपर की वार्म एयर वाई डज नॉट इट वार्म्स द एयर बिलो बिकॉज एयर इज अ बैड कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट एयर कैनॉट ट्रांसफर द हीट फ्रॉम वार्म टू कोल्ड हैड एयर बिन द गुड कंडक्टर ऑफ हीट तो ये Fine. So, what is the importance of temperature inversion? One importance, I have seen is smog. Dusra importance of temperature inversion. Understand? This temperature inversion is. If this is any non-living object, this stone can be, this car can be, this garden ke benches can be, anything can be. So, during the night time, when the air becomes very very cold, water vapor, the stone will become more colder. solid so water vapor which will is in contact with the stone which comes in the contact with the stone after cooling it will get converted into liquid and you will call this as dew os in hindi and sometimes it becomes so cold that water vapor is directly converted to solid that is ice particle when it comes in contact and you will call this as frost so temperature inversion is responsible for three things fog dew and frost ye teeno winter phenomena hai clouds rain ye hai summer phenomena hmm? 
mist. Mist is light fog, nothing else. 97%. Yeah, just a rainfall. Kahi se bhi wind aayegi. If it is bringing the moist air, water vapor content will increase. Any doubts in temperature inversion? No, no, no. Frost is jisko kahenge pala in Hindi. If you are not Hindi, so Maharashtra mein frost nahi hota. So don't worry about that. The frost is present only in the northern India. That is during the extreme winters. You keep the glass outside, Rajendra Nagar mein. Din mein in the morning. As you go early in the morning, you will see ice particles jamming away on that grass or on anything. That is frost. And if there is liquid, it is dew. Snowfall is different. Frost in Delhi mein So fine with this. So take down, take down these things. Frost ka definition me de dunga wo rat lena. We will write that, where it forms. Non-advectional temperature inversion, non-advectional temperature inversion is also known as ground inversion. Is also known as ground inversion or radiation inversion. Why it is known as non-advectional? Because there is no movement of wind. Yeah, kuch nahi hai. Last condition bhi hai. No movement of wind. Non-advectional inversion. Non-advectional inversion is common. Is common in the permafrost. What do you mean by permafrost? Permafrost means completely covered by ice. Permafrost. Example, tundra. Example, Antarctic. Example, Arctic. In the permafrost region. Covered by ice throughout the year. Permafrost region. Throughout the year. Throughout the year. Throughout the year. While it occurs only during the winters, while it occurs only during the winters, while it occurs only during the winters, in middle and in middle and subtropical latitudes, in the middle and subtropical latitudes. Middle latitudes मतलब 35 to 65, subtropical मतलब 10 to 35, 0 to 10 degree latitude equator. Temperature inversion is absent in the equatorial regions. Temperature inversion is absent in the equatorial regions. कौन सा temperature inversion? This one, non-advection. Next point, during winters, the ground surface becomes extremely cold. During winters, the ground surface becomes extremely cold. And therefore, air which comes in contact with, therefore, air which comes in contact with the cold ground surface, becomes cold, becomes cold, cold ground surface also cools, also cools, air which comes in contact with cold ground surface also cools, while the upper air, while the upper air remains comparatively warmer, 
upper air remains comparatively warmer. Upper air remains comparatively warmer. Full stop. Why? Likhne ki zarurat nahi hai, but dimag mein rakhna, air is a bad conductor of heat. वही वही मैं लिखाऊंगा ये तो सिर्फ मैंने ये लिखा है ये लिखना नहीं है नेक्स्ट फॉलोइंग कंडीशंस आर नेसेसरी फॉलोइंग कंडीशंस आर नेसेसरी फर्स्ट कोल्ड ग्राउंड सरफेस जो बोर्ड पे लिखा है वही लिखो कोल्ड ग्राउंड सरफेस सारे मत लिखना इसमें थोड़ा चेंजेस है कोल्ड ग्राउंड सरफेस सेकेंड Long cold winter nights. Second is the long cold winter nights. Full stop. Isi point me. This is necessary. This is necessary because during the night. During the night. Because during the night. Ground will lose more heat. Ground will lose more heat through radiation. Ground will lose more heat through radiation. Third, presence of dry air near the ground. Presence of dry air near the ground. Presence of dry air near the ground. Why? Bracket me likhna. Air is a moist air is a or water vapor is a greenhouse gas. It will trap the heat. Agar air moisture hai, that means that it has water vapor and water vapor is a greenhouse gas. It will trap the heat. Next point. Cloudless and clear skies. cloudless and clear sky because because clouds clouds if present will reflect the heat back to the earth clouds if present will reflect the heat back to the earth reflect the heat back to the earth and last absence or very less movement of air absence or very less movement of air absence or very less movement of air next point ये मैं डिक्टेट नहीं कराऊंगा जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस देर फोर विंटर्स ये हम सिग्निफिकेंस में सेपरेटली लिखेंगे हैव व्हाट फॉग ड्यू एंड फ्रॉस्ट फॉग ड्यू एंड फ्रॉस्ट विंटर्स में फॉग ड्यू एंड फॉग फ्रॉस्ट क्योंकि ये किसी भी टेम्परेचर इन्वर्जन में होगा वेलकम टू दिल्ली पोल्यूशन आफ्टर वी डू दिस एंटायर टॉपिक एडवेक्शनल इन्वर्जन मीन्स देर इज मूवमेंट ऑफ एयर There is an movement of air. Advectional inversion means there is movement of air. Is me the most important is valley inversion.
Now suppose these are the two mountains and this is a valley in the mountainous region. During the night time, during the daytime, which part of the mountain will receive more insulation? Upper slopes or lower slopes? Valley ka part. Obviously it will be upper parts. Niche, to it will be more or less colder during the daytime. Why it will be colder? Because vegetation be hai. There are numerous things. It is a, there is a shade also and it is narrow. But during the night time, the ground will start losing the heat, whether it is the upper slope or the lower slope. And upper water vapor kam hai, density of the gases is less, carbon dioxide ki quantity bhi thodi bhot kam hai, because of the density is less, the upper slope will lose the heat quickly to the surrounding region. While lower slopes, this will all lose the heat to the surrounding regions. While the lower slopes are losing the heat, but it is trapped by the stones and thus the heat is reflected back. Jo buildings karta in the cities. Buildings will trap the heat, concrete. Stones will trap the heat and it is reflected back. So as a result of this, can I say this will be warm <coughs> and this will be comparatively colder? Getting it? Everyone? Upper ka part is colder, niche ka part will remain warm. Cold matlab high pressure or low pressure? High pressure and warm means low pressure in climate. Yaad rakhna ye. What is the law of wind? Wind always flows from high pressure to low pressure. Or the cold air is denser and therefore it is attracted by the gravity and it will start moving down the slope. As it starts moving down the slope, it will occupy the valley sides or the valley bottom and what it will do to the warm air? It will push the warm air upwards and this warm air after going upwards it will settle above. Initial condition kya tha? Cold air upar thi, warm air niche thi. But what is the final condition? There is a cold air below and warm air above. Kyu? Due to the movement of air. Isle it is advectional inversion. So as a result of this, fogs will be present at this point. Jahan pe temperature inversion. Temperature inversion easily visible hai. Kisi bhi tall building mein jana Delhi mein and you will see a layer of fog. That is the layer of warm air and the cold air, differentiation layer of generally temperature inversion maximum 1 or 2 kilometers tak hota hai. Uske baad the condition again becomes normal. Cities mein during the summer season if you go at the tall buildings you will see dhool hota hai upar surrounding the city. We call that as haze. That is the layer of temperature inversion. Because temperature inversion is common in the cities even during the summer season. That is what is known as an urban heat island effect. Yahan ki urban regions mein the heat is so greater, ki air will start rising upwards and therefore surrounding air will come and occupy the cities. Urban canyon effect. Canyon matlab tof. Cities mein kya hai? Tall buildings are canyons. Wind will come and it will be forced to rise up suddenly. That is what is known as canyon effect. So we'll do that when we do the urban heat island environment. But have you understood this concept? So there is an cold air below, warm air above. Now what is this ka practical implication? This ka practical implication is whenever you go for next time to the hill stations, you will see the best hotels or the costliest hotels are always located on the top. Ek toh view bhi achha milta hai plus raat mein thandi nahi hoti. If you take the hotel at the bottom, it will be extremely cold in the night. And plus you will not see anything other than fog. Why? Because every night there is going to be a temperature inversion. Second, in the European nations, even in India, in the temperate latitudes, valley floors are avoided for human settlement. People will generally do terrace farming or terracing and they will settle along the sides. Ghar kabhi bhi bottom mein nahi hoga valley ke. Because there is going to be a temperature inversion. Hamesha it will be on the sides of a mountain. Will always settle on the sides of a mountain. They will not go and settle in the valley. Winters, uh, summers, uh, rainy season mein valley mein floods bhi aayenge and during the winter season there will be temperature inversion. Agriculture is also not done on the valley floors. 
because in the mountainous region the most important crops are flowers or fruits horticulture and horticulture is extremely sensitive to changes of the temperature and therefore you should know valley floors are avoided for human settlement as well as for the agricultural activities it is always done on the sites see a simple phenomena it changes the economics of everything valley ka sides are always taken up not always the valley floors so this is one example of an valley inversion so can i dictate valley inversion it occurs when it occurs during the night time it occurs during the night time because the upper slopes of a mountain because the upper slopes of a mountain will lose the heat quickly will lose the heat quickly as compared to the valleys as compared to the valley and hence the air on the hence the air on the upper slopes becomes cold as the air in the upper slopes becomes colder comma full stop cold air being denser cold air being denser cold air being denser it is pulled due to gravity it is pulled due to gravity and occupies the valley floors and occupies the valley floors causing causing temperature inversion causing temperature inversion causing temperature inversion comma fogs fog comma dew and frost fog dew and frost therefore to avoid frost bite to avoid frost bite valley floors are avoided for human settlement valley floors are avoided for human settlement and agricultural activities human settlement and agricultural activities and agricultural activities is dew good for us dew matlab abhi thandiyon mein you will see subah subah agar aapko jaane ki aadat hai gardens mein sab या कार के ऊपर यू विल सी पानी के बूंदे है देर आर वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स दैट इज ड्यू इन 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 इंस्टेड ऑफ वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स इफ योर कार गेट्स कवर्ड विथ लेयर ऑफ आइस नॉट स्नो देर इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन आई टोल्ड यू आइस एंड स्नो इफ इट गेट्स कवर्ड विथ द लेयर ऑफ आइस इट इज फ्रॉस्ट सो इज ड्यू गुड फॉर अस येस ड्यू इज गुड बिकॉज इट ड्यूरिंग द विंटर सीजन इट विल गिव द मच नीडेड मॉइस्चर to the soil to the crops is frost good no not at all pani aapke upar hai imagine you are a plant pani aapke upar gir raha hai it is good for you ab kisi ne aapke upar barf dal diya so it is bad it will cause frost bite getting this <coughs> so therefore it will destroy frost bite you keep anything in the freezer any fruit and एक घंटे में निकालो फ्रूट पूरा ब्लैक हो जाएगा दैट इज फ्रॉस्ट बाइट सो फ्रॉस्ट इज नॉट एट ऑल बेनिफिशियल फॉर एनी वन ड्यू इज बेनिफिशियल एंड इन द डेजर्ट रीजन जो अटाकामा वो सब डेजर्ट है दिस इज सम एक्स्ट्रा इन्फॉर्मेशन क्योंकि ये मैं किसी थियरी के साथ नहीं दे सकता 
याद रखना देर आर द ट्राइब्स विच आर नोन एज सान और बुशमैन ऑफ कालाहारी डेजर्ट द ड्राइज डेजर्ट इन द वर्ल्ड अटाकामा लाइफ इज नॉट पॉसिबल द सेकेंड ड्राइज डेजर्ट मतलब नेचुरल कंडीशन में लाइफ इज नॉट पॉसिबल सेकेंड ड्राइज डेजर्ट इन द वर्ल्ड कालाहारी अफ्रीका एंड वहां पे देर इज अ सान और बुशमैन दिज आर द हंटिंग एंड फूड गैदरिंग ट्राइब्स शोन इन मेनी ऑफ द मूवीज इफ दे हैव शोन यू द पीपल ब्लैक पीपल हंटिंग विद बोज एंड एरोज दैट आर द सान बुशमैन पीपल this sun and bushman people are living in the most toughest conditions for life because the only source of the water they have is the morning dew drops they have to collect in ostrich ka egg matlab pehle ostrich se egg churao and then collect the morning dew drops and that is their entire day supply of water in the temperature of 55 56 degree celsius Imagine 55, 56 degree Celsius. Me, how many liters of water will you drink? And they have to collect only the dew drops in the morning. So it is good. Snow is granular. Ice is crystalline. Me, baad me batao. Snow or ice ka difference? frost it is injurious to crops these are tidbits only for prelims you have drunk this coffee mocha mocha jo aap bolte ho usko what is mocha coffee so mocha coffee is the special kind of coffee that is grown only in yemen frost is injurious to all the crops in the world except for the mocha coffee which is grown in yemen <coughs> why yemen is already desert coffee requires moisture so that the frost is giving the much needed moisture but in our india द आइडिया ऑफ मोका कॉफी इज उसके ऊपर क्रीम डालो एंड एक स्माइल ही बनाओ दैट इज आवर मोका कॉफी दैट इज नॉट द ओरिजिनल मोका कॉफी इट हैज टू कम फ्रॉम यमेन जैसे दार्जिलिंग टी हैज टू कम फ्रॉम दार्जिलिंग सो सो दैट इज दिडबिट्स द सेकेंड काइंड ऑफ एडवेक्शनल इन्वर्जन is is due to the mixing up of warm and cold ocean currents warm current jiska temperature is 35 36 degree celsius वार्म ए करंट के ऊपर ओशन करंट के ऊपर की एयर इज वार्मर कोल्ड ओशन करंट व्हिच इज कमिंग फ्रॉम फ्रोजन आइस क्यू आइस बर्ग है उसमें व्हाट इज द इंडिविजुअल साइज ऑफ एन आइस बर्ग इट इज आइस बर्ग इज वेरी वेरी लार्ज रिमेंबर इट इज एक्सट्रीमली लार्ज एंड आइस बर्ग जितना दिखता है ओनली वन पार्ट इज विजिबल बाकी नाइन पार्ट आर बिलो द वॉटर लॉ ऑफ फ्लोटेशन icebergs are so large that some some of the icebergs are equivalent to the size of peninsular india iceberg has melted ye jo news mein aata hai iska matlab ye nahi ice cube has melted it is big area which can be equivalent to the size of any country 
and such large icebergs are brought by cold currents. I just want you to imagine how much powerful these cold currents are when they can carry the icebergs with them. And iceberg ke upar ka air is obviously below the sub-freezing point. So whenever there is a, we had just seen, there is a, the, the warm and cold ocean currents will mix. So warm air and the cold air will mix. Which air is lighter? Warm air or colder air? Warm air. So warm air will go up and the cold air will settle down. Causing what? Temperature inversion. Causing temperature inversion. So this is how the temperature inversion is caused due to the mixing of cold currents. And isiliye, the most densest fogs in the world are found in this region where the, there is a mixing up of warm and cold ocean currents. And this region is known for sea accidents. You see the same thing has been shown in Titanic. There is fog, they cannot show, see the iceberg and therefore iceberg cuts through the entire ship. So you can take down. The most densest fog in the world, the most dense fog in the world, most dense fogs in the world are caused, are caused in the regions of mixing of, mixing of cold and warm ocean currents, mixing of cold and warm ocean currents, cold and warm ocean currents. Example, Newfoundland or Grand Banks region. Which country? Canada, North America. Due to mixing up of cold, Labrador. Yes, sab hum baad mein Labrador current us sab karenge. Abhi ye sirf yaad rakhna. Cold Labrador current and warm Gulf Stream. Cold Labrador current and the warm Gulf Stream. This is, this is the example of the area. This is the name of an area or kaun se do current mix ho rahe? Cold current is Labrador and warm current is the Gulf Stream. So it is this region, which is also the richest fishing region in the world. And EC region pe, there has been accident of Titanic. So the cold current is Labrador and the warm current is Gulf Stream. We'll come to that while doing the smog. Pele fogs. Fine with this? सब में बेसिक मैकेनिज्म यही है वार्म एंड कोल्ड एयर आएगी कोल्ड एयर नीचे आएगी एंड वार्म एयर को ऊपर फेंक देगी सिर्फ क्या चेंज हो रहा है द एजेंट्स आर चेंजिंग पहले इसमें एजेंट इज माउंटेन एंड वैली सेकंड इसमें एजेंट इज वार्म एंड कोल्ड ओशन करंट्स थर्ड इसमें एजेंट इज फ्रंट्स Don't write all this in the exam. Exam may just end your answer here. 
These are extra things because question अगर 20 marks के लिए भी 20 200 words के लिए भी आता है, so half of the answer will be regarding radiation inversion. The other half of the other 40 30 percent of your answer will be regarding advectional inversion and remaining 20 percent of the answer even if it is not asked will has to be regarding importance of temperature inversion because fog smog are becoming very important processes in the world so you have to write that in the answer sea smog this all are the tidbits for prelims ki aata hai what are the examples of advectional inversion usme diya hai due to ocean currents due to wind radiation inversion and the frontal smog. So, which is not radiation inversion is not. Baki ka answer will be they are getting it. So, sea smoke kya hai? Suppose this is a land and this is a water body. Thoda alag hai ye concept but it has been taken in geography as a part of temperature inversion. Vaisa ye part nahi hai temperature inversion ka but you should know this concept for only for prelims. Now this water is warmer and because this water is warmer evaporation ho rai from water. This water is warm water and there is evaporation that is occurring. But sometimes during the winter season especially which will become more colder water or land. Land will become more colder and if the wind is coming from the land towards the water body water may see evaporation ho rai. And when the cold wind comes, the cold wind will come in the contact with water vapor and it will convert the water vapor into water droplets. And jaysay it will get converted into water droplets, hume aise lagega as if the smoke is coming out from water. And therefore that phenomena is known as sea smoke. smoke. It is not associated with temperature inversion, it is just one phenomena of fogs sea smoke. Same thing is happening if you are taking a bath or if you are having hot water. Room ka temperature is relatively colder but pani ka temperature is warmer. So evaporation ho raha hai but because the room ka temperature is colder condensation ho raha hai and therefore aise lagta hai pani mein se smoke is coming out, steam is coming out. The same thing is going to happen with your body also in the coming months. That is when you speak inside it is warmer but bahar ka temperature will be colder. So when we speak water vapor is also given out, right? Andar pani hai, 70 liter pani andar. So the water vapor is also given out and when this water vapor is given out it will condense or hume aise lagega dhua nikal raha winters mein. Ye sub mechanism wahi hai, condensation, the sea smoke. So you can take down. This is a special type of fog. This is a special type of fog. Which looks similar to a smoke coming out from. Which looks similar to a smoke coming out from. Sea water. It occurs when sea water. It occurs when a cold wind, cold wind moves over warm ocean surfaces. Cold wind moves over warm ocean surfaces. Warm ocean surfaces, causing condensation of causing condensation of water vapor, causing condensation of water vapor, causing condensation of water vapor. Fine with this?
significance of temperature inversion, but the importance. See, significance can be both positive and negative. Generally, we feel that significance means that it is not good to write good things. Daud also is significant for India. Daud is not going to cause any positive thing for India, but he is a significant personality. So, significance may temperature inversion may koi positive points nahi hai. Temperature inversion is always associated with negative things, except if it is due. One of the first important negative thing of the temperature inversion is fogs. Why fogs are negative? Sabse pehle reduce visibility. and therefore hinder navigation. They cause accidents. Sorry accidents, as any safe ship, road, railway, waterways, airways, Delhi mein se bohat sari flights aap dekho ke December mein cancel hona shuru ho jayegi because they cannot take off or land. Trains will be cancelled because as soon as 22nd December will occur it will be winter solstice. That is when the winters will become very severe in India in the month of December. That is when the ground surface will become very cold and the fogs will be the most dense. Actually ye fog hona hi nahi chahiye tha. This is nothing but smog. So, It is associated with pollution. It is associated with pollution. How? Because fog mixes with smoke. Fog mixes with smoke to form to form a toxic or poisonous mixture of gases to form toxic or poisonous mixture of gases comma particular matter particulate matter particulate matter pollutants dust particles known as known as smog known as smog <coughs> Ab ideally fog should be present during the daytime or night time morning <coughs> ya yeah, evening mein jaise when the ground will become colder vaise during the day and during the afternoon fogs hona chahiye ki nahi so if the fogs are not there will there be smog no, smog should not be present during the daytime. Getting this? Because fog has to mix. Je, je particulate matter hai, it get, they get suspended in the water droplets. So when we do the fogs, traditionally there are two types of smogs. So there are two types of smog. One is the classical smog. or just smog. Is it visible behind? Classical smog or smog. Now this classical smog or smog generally occurs or is densest, most dense during early morning during early morning but disappears during day as water droplets are evaporated
by sun as the water droplets are evaporated by the sun fine chala jata hai purane you can ask your parents you can ask your grandparents they will say ki theek hai delhi mein pollution hota tha but only during the early morning or during the late night but kohra nikal jata tha during the day time so that is what is the classical smog remember classical smog is a primary pollutant Now, what do you mean by primary pollutant you will first understand what is secondary pollutant later on why it is caused it is caused by industrial pollution it is caused by industrial pollution where sulfur dioxide is major pollutant Sulfur dioxide is the major pollutant. SO2 is the major pollutant. SO2 is given out by industries. Why? Because sulfur dioxide is present in coal, and coal burning gives out sulfur. ये special problem है Indian coal का, because Indian coal is rich in sulfur. As we have bituminous variety, we do not have anthracite. सो so, इसलिए जैसे ही पोल्यूशन बढ़ा व्हाट डिड सुप्रीम कोर्ट आज द दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट टू डू टू क्लोज डाउन द बदरपुर थर्मल पावर प्लांट कैन यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाई बिकॉज दे वर ट्राइंग टू कंट्रोल द क्लासिकल स्मॉक व्हाट आर द इम्पैक्ट्स यू ऑलरेडी नो द इम्पैक्ट तीन चार दिन पहले क्या हुआ था इरिटेशन ऑफ आईज रेस्पिरेटरी इश्यूज और प्रॉब्लम्स एस्पेशली अस्थमा asthma is the most common problem in delhi now if children are growing up in delhi they will suffer from they have the chances they will suffer from asthma children if they are playing in delhi they will suffer from asthma in other parts of the world to cure from asthma children are asked to play because air is clean yahan pe children are stopped from playing outside because they are they have a they can have asthma see this has become a serious issue now and cardiac issues cardiac problems heart attack etc aajkal ye normal problem ho gaya hai why because we have conditioned ourselves ki hamare liye heart attack normal ho gaya hai cancer issue ban gaya hai see how we are going seventh mass extinction hum khud ka hi karenge that is because of this issues So the word is not smog, photochemical smog. Photo means sunlight. Chemical means chemical reaction, and smog you already know. So this is a smog which, unlike other fog or smog, will occur during the daytime, which we have seen in Delhi right now. Generally, बाकी के parts of the world में pollution है. It occurs during early morning or night. People just have to change their schedule. instead of morning walk they have to go for evening walk or they have to stop walking they don't go out in the outside during the early mornings but jaise sun becomes stronger the fog disappears or weakens and they can continue their daily life but jahan pe photochemical smog hai especially asia not just this delhi entire north india 
अब तो इस साल मुंबई में भी एंड दैट हैज बिकम अ सीरियस इशू वाई इट हैज बिकम अ सीरियस इशू बिकॉज इन स्पाइट ऑफ लैंड एंड सी ब्रिज दिस इज द फर्स्ट ईयर दैट मुंबई हैज सीन स्मॉग फोटोकेमिकल स्मॉग नहीं होना चाहिए टेक्निकली वहाँ and photochemical smog will occur during the day time jitna stronger the sunlight utna stronger will be the photochemical smog and this is the time when you all are outside working on the streets so you are more exposing yourself and see iska implications so what is this photochemical smog it is a secondary pollutant can i rub this part it is a secondary pollutant it occurs during the day time i am telling you that it occurs during the day time this is caused due to industrial pollution but this is caused due to matlab primary source वैसे तो industries भी करेंगे but the most important source for this is the vehicular pollution is generally caused due to vehicles why because vehicles will give out nitrous oxides vehicles will give out nitrous oxides यहाँ पे क्या है sulphur oxides sulphur dioxide or any of the sulphur oxides यहाँ पे nitrous oxides कौन सी गाड़ियाँ ज़्यादा देती हैं nitrous oxides petrol or diesel डीजल नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड्स प्लस अनबंट डीजल अनबंट पेट्रोल ब्लैक कार्बन धुआ वॉट यू विल कॉल दैट एज वोलाटाइल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड वोलाटाइल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड एंड दिस विल रिएक्ट इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सनलाइट जितना ज्यादा सनलाइट उतना स्ट्रॉगर इज द रिएक्शन सो इसलिए द नेम इज फोटो केमिकल बिकॉज देर इज अ केमिकल रिएक्शन दैट इज ऑकरिंग दिस विल रिएक्ट इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ डे टाइम और सनलाइट एंड ओरिजिनल नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड एंड वोलाटाइल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू ओजोन ओजोन इज अ वेरी गुड गैस इन द स्ट्रेटोस्फियर इट इज इक्वली बैड गैस इन द ट्रोपोस्फियर प्लस different types of nitrates different types of nitrates nitrous oxides into nitrates that is what you call it as a span different types of nitrates ye generally gases hamare phenyl vinyl mein use hota hai not in the air this should be present in phenyl for killing germs not in the air hmm pan is peroxy acetyl nitrates plus different kinds of aldehydes and this combined toxic mix jisme ozone dominates ye jo hai this is what is known as photochemical smog <coughs> sabse common aldehyde jo delhi mein banta hai in naturally is chloroform chloroform ka use you know through hindi movies kidnapping it should not be naturally present in the air but it is naturally present in the air ozone should not be naturally present because ozone will displace the oxygen from the blood and it will take its place our body cannot synthesize ozone it can use only oxygen so you feel tired so understanding closing of badarpur power plant and odd even scheme getting this why odd even scheme and why power closing of industries because this is the common and which is going to increase even after closing down of industries 
and what was the yesterday's report of Center of Greenpeace and Center of Science and Environment is stubble burning has contributed only 20% of pollution to Delhi. Baki ka is caused due to Delhi ka vehicles itself and construction activity which is going on in Delhi. And burning of waste. What is the impact? Jo humne abhi likha, lung issues, second irritation of eyes. Third, cardiac issues. ये तो common है दोनों में. यहाँ से है how it differentiates. It is superior, so issues have to be superior. Mental retardation, especially in the infants, especially in infants. Why? They are not getting oxygen, they are not getting proper blood and therefore, and what about us in adults? In adults, attention deficit disorders. So, if you don't you can blame, you can tell your parents that there is too much of smog in Delhi. In adults. Fifth, this is also a very serious issue. It destroys destroys chlorophyll in plants. Go and see many plants in Delhi, you will find yellow spots, photochemical spawn, green spots, chlorophyll. It destroys the chlorophyll and therefore reduces photosynthesis. Therefore, reduces photosynthesis. Mutations for a plants may, they are changing, there is the change in the mutations of the plants. And as a result, plants which should be carbon sink, that is they should remove the oxygen. Now, because of lack of photosynthesis, they should remove the carbon dioxide. But due to the lack of photosynthesis, they are doing now more respiration. What is the process of respiration? Giving out oxygen. What do you have? CO2. Therefore, plants are increasingly becoming or turning into carbon source. So, you should know this technical language in environment and ecology. Concept is very simple, hai. the questions in prelims are technical bit. Carbon source means they are giving out carbon dioxide rather than carbon sink, rather than carbon sink. Carbon sink means they will remove the carbon dioxide. Also, reduces food production. Agriculture crops, food production reduce over. 
you also reduce the food production. Plants are increasingly turning into carbon source rather than carbon sink. Iska matlab kya hai? Kya hai dere? Surface matlab kya? What do you mean by source? Carbon source matlab kya? It gives out carbon dioxide. What is the work of the plants or terrestrial biome to remove the carbon dioxide? So, because of the absence and how does the plants remove the carbon dioxide? Through photosynthesis. What is required for photosynthesis? Chlorophyll. So, now the destruction of chlorophyll, so the photosynthetic ability has reduced. And because the photosynthetic ability has reduced, instead of removing the carbon dioxide, removal of carbon dioxide is technically known as carbon sink they are now giving more carbon dioxide to the atmosphere and therefore we are saying it is carbon source here technical words here. it is they are not normal words carbon sink matlab anything that removes carbon dioxide carbon source means anything that gives carbon dioxide itna yaad rakhna so waste so, for example, I can say rice fields are methane source because they give out methane. <coughs> Tropical evergreen forest or any forest is natural carbon sink. It removes the carbon dioxide. 52 million gigatons. 52 million gigatons of carbon dioxide is removed by tropical evergreen forest alone every year in the world. Remember, that is how powerful the carbon sink are. Amaz Congo ka rainforest gives sufficient amount of moisture back, evapotranspiration, which can give in three months, which can give two years of rainfall in India non-stop. Itna zada moisture they give back to the atmosphere. What we are doing? We are destroying this forests. It, so obviously there will be more erratic monsoon. There will be more droughts. There will be more heat waves. They are carcinogen. What do you mean by carcinogen? They can cause cancer. So, yes, a classical smog ka problem nahi hai. This is the problem of photochemical smog. Photochemical smog totally destroys. Iron ko rust ho sabo natural process hai. Yeh destroy karta hai even plastic and rubber. So when the plastic and rubber is destroyed, polymers hai. So the toxic gases which are present in the plastic and rubber, they will be released in the surrounding atmosphere. See, whatever the companies claim, what is this? Plastic. What is this? A byproduct of petroleum industry, polymer. What is this? A chemical, green color. Right? Chahi uske upar likhenge BPA free, XYZ free, food grade, etc. Long run mein, it is not safe. Why? We are in a tropical country. Remember, jo older traditions tha, they were for a reason. 
why only steel or copper why only glass plastics are good in the temperate region because wahan pe heating nahi hoga but in the tropical regions like us there is heating and when there is heating there is a mixing of all the chemicals in the water we will call that effect as leaching and all that is entering in our body and plastic cannot be removed by the body ultimately andar se body will decompose decompose means there will be changes mutation there will be diseases there will be cancer so 23% increase in the rate of cancers in india is accounted to plastics alone especially tiffin and disposable plastic bisleri hame aadat hai bisleri ki bottle fridge mein rakhne ki gaadi mein rakhne ki 3 4 din it should be thrown after the use we have the habit of eating hot curry hot food we are not temperate regions ki फॉइल हो या प्लास्टिक हो कोल्ड सैलड खा सकते हैं अनकुक्ड वे रिक्वायर कुक्ड फूड वो भी गरम जितना गरम उतना ज़्यादा केमिकल रिएक्शन एंड उतना ज़्यादा सो दैट इज फूड ग्रेड प्लास्टिक द रियलिटी इज आफ्टर 25 फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ डिस्क ऑफ रिसर्च अभी कंक्लूजन आया है द फूड ग्रेड प्लास्टिक मेड फ्रॉम पॉली इथलिन इज अनसेफ एंड देयर फोर वी शुड गो टू टपरवेयर दस साल बाद रिसर्च आएगा जब नया कुछ आएगा कंपनीज नया कुछ इन्वेंट करेंगे और उनको सेल करना है तो इट टपर वेयर इज ऑल्सो अनसेफ सो गो टू सम एक्स वाई जेड सो बेस्ट इज स्टील बेस्ट इज ग्लास so how to fight smog or how to fight the plastic pollution smog do type ke sirf smog pucha to primary pollutant photochemical smog pucha to humne chemical reaction likha hai primary pollutant hai nitrous oxide and volatile organic compounds wo hota hi nahi pollution mein wo mix ho ke ban jata hai ozone आजकल जो आर्टिकल्स आ रहे हैं न्यूज़ पेपर में वेन आवर क्लासेस स्टार्टेड आजकल तो बंद हो गए ट्रोपोस्फेरिक ओजोन ट्रोपोस्फेरिक ओजोन ओजोन ऑन द ट्रोपोस्फेयर क्या है नथिंग बट द अदर नेम ऑफ फोटोकेमिकल स्मॉग इट इज नथिंग बट ट्रोपोस्फेरिक ओजोन ओजोन डू द कार्स रिलीज नो दे रिलीज नाइट्रस ऑक्साइड बट क्या बन जाता है थ्रू केमिकल रिएक्शन ओजोन देयर फोर वी कॉल इट एज अ सेकेंडरी पोल्यूटेंट बिकॉज सेकेंडरी पोल्यूटेंट बिकॉज इट अंडर गोज अ केमिकल रिएक्शन टू form ozone understanding this tropospheric ozone is the biggest challenge we are going to face in next 10 50 10 years because vehicles are going to increase densely pop main is vehicles main is vehicles and baki ke fillers are densely populated because vehicles ki density zyada hogi construction dust usse smog hoga ozone nahi banega bahut kam but main is vehicles waise to chhota is urban urbanization also kyunki air ki movement ko rok deta hai so all this are there so any idea now how to fight smog or how to fight delhi pollution so aaj agar question aata hai why delhi is one of the most polluted metros in india you know two points from factors affecting temperature ki sabse pehle it is look it is an continental city second because it is a continental city it experiences extremes of climate so due to extremes of climate it experiences temperature inversion where the air descends winter season and therefore 
it is polluted. Such temperature inversion is absent in Kolkata, Mumbai, Chennai. They do not have winters. Why? Because they are coastal cities. Third, <coughs> Delhi has the largest number of vehicles in India. Delhi mein vehicle ki population kitna hai? Kitne vehicles hai Delhi mein? 1.2 crore vehicles are there, not human beings. 1.2 crore vehicles are there in Delhi and this is just DL registered vehicles. It does not include HR, RJ, UP registered vehicles. If DL registered vehicles are 1 crore plus, means you should remember the number of vehicles in Delhi. Ye teen saal pehle ka data tha, number of vehicles in Delhi is twice the number of vehicles of Mumbai plus Kolkata plus Chennai. In teeno metros mein jitni vehicle hai, usse do guna zyada vehicles hai Delhi mein. And as a result of this, Delhi mein, this pollution is there. And lastly, Delhi is the only city which is surrounded by farming region. Farming region, to pollen grains bhi jada hai, pollutants bhi jada hai. And air is also dry. Moisture agar hai air mein, to it will fall down. But dry air, it causes air pollution. Stubble burning, air pollution. Next, construction activities, those are fillers hai. Aisa nahi ki Delhi is the only city in India jahan construction ho raha hai. Construction is occurring in all the cities. Industrial, industrialization is there in all the cities. But Delhi ka problems are specifically geographical problems related to its location. Landlocked Landlock city hai. Getting this? So with this background, we'll do this tomorrow.